Here's a nice little texture stitch pattern. I don't even know what the official name of it is. I just call it texture stitch pattern. It's simple and easy to do and you can use it when you just want to add a little bit of interest to a plain crocheted fabric. I'm using American crochet terminology throughout. I'll begin by chaining a multiple of two stitches. I'm working with Plymouth Yarn Encore color 703 which they call Amber Blush and I've got a five millimeter crochet hook. Let's see if I have a multiple of two chains. I don't count the slip knot, so I just count the stitch above the slip knot. Two. Twenty, then twenty-one. I don't count the stitch on my hook. That loop on my hook is not a stitch. So I need one more. I've got twenty-two stitches. So I have a multiple of two stitches. My first instruction is to double crochet in the third chain from the hook. So I'm going to count backwards. One, two, three, and double crochet in that chain. Now I like to work into the back bump of a chain. So I'm going to do a double crochet into the back bump of that chain. Those skipped chains are also going to count as a double crochet. Then I'm going to double crochet in each chain across and that, in, that means the back bump of each chain across since that's how I've decided to do it. I just want to do it consistently so if you don't want to work in the back bump that's fine. Just work into the chain, the front of the chain. As I come toward the end of the chain, I want to make sure that I work into the last stitch, the last chain, but not into my slip knot. And I want to stop here for a minute and make sure that my chain was not so tight that the stitches are Draw, drawing in at the chain. It's nice and loose. It's about straight here. You can see that it's my chain was loose enough that working into the back bump didn't make that chain. I didn't have to fight to get the stitches in there. I'm also going to count and see how many stitches I have. Even though I chained two, I should have an odd number of stitches when I finish the first row. These skipped chains count as a stitch, so I'll count that as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. So I do have an odd number of stitches. So I'm good to go to work my first row. I'm going to turn and chain 1 and single crochet in my first stitch and then treble in the next stitch. So treble is yarn over twice, go in, pull up a loop, and then yarn over and pull through two, three times. So I have a really tall stitch and a short stitch, and you can even see that treble crochet is leaning a bit to the right because it's really jammed up there against that short stitch. And I'm going to alternate a single crochet and a treble crochet and as I alternate these two stitches you'll see that as I work those single crochets on either side of the treble that makes the treble pop up to the front. So I'm allowing that treble to fold down and fold to the front or the right side of my work. Sometimes it may want to go to the back. Let me just show you what that would look like. You see how I have a dimple here instead of a little a bobble, sort of a bobble? There it is back there. Now you can do it if you were working this reversibly. You might want it to alternate front and back, but for purposes of what I'm doing, I just want to allow that to pop to the front. So I'm going to alternate treble and single crochet all the way across. At the end of the row, I have a treble in that last double crochet 
but remember that those skipped chains counted as a stitch so I have to put my last single crochet into the top of that turning chain and there I have my first row with my trebles popping up the wrong side rows are easy I just turn chain two that's going to count as a double crochet I'm supposed to double crochet in each stitch across but because I'm counting that as a double crochet I don't work into the base of that chain my first real double crochet goes into the next stitch and then just double crochet in each stitch across working under both loops of the V, the v. At the end of this row I work into the last single crochet and turn. Now we're going to do another row of single crochets and trebles but we're going to alternate where they were so we're going to offset them by one. I'll chain one and single crochet in the first two stitches and then treble in the next stitch and then single crochet and you'll notice that that sets that next little bobble between the two that were a couple of rows below so we'll do that all the way across at the end of this row we'll end with two single crochets so one in the top of the double crochet but then one in the top of that turning chain as well the wrong side row is simply chain two and double crochet in each stitch across again not working into the base of that chain but working into the next stitch under both loops of the V it's a good idea to stop every now and then and make sure you're maintaining the same number of stitches so I'll just stop and count I started with 21 I'll count that first turning chain as 1 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 21. So I know I'm good to go and I just like to stop and do that every few rows to make sure I haven't made a mistake. Now the stitch pattern is just repeat those four rows. So I'll do alternating rows of little dots all the way through and I'll end with a wrong side row. So I'll end with a row of double crochets at the top. If you'd like more crochet instruction like this, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Check out the links in the video notes for other ways you can find me. Thanks for watching.